how long do you think the Prime Minister can last, Jim? And is her uh, negotiating position weakened because of these resignations? I mean, I think I'd like to reflect. I wish you'd ask me tomorrow when you, I could reflect. But, you know, it's, uh, immediately, I, I, in a strange way, I think she's a lot stronger than she's been for quite some time because she's... These things have been there every day of her life, lurking in the background, and, and the big beast has gone in a pretty weakened position. So, in terms of any immediate challenge to her, I, I, my, you know, what do I know about anything, never mind politics, but uh, I, my guess is she's in a stronger position than she's been for a while in that sense, against the background of a ridiculously fragile uh, position because of the election result. So, you know, there's always vulnerabilities to it, but again, linked to how the markets are. And another thing I'd throw in, if they, they're really worrying about the likelihood of Corbyn coming on, again, why is the pound so calm? So, it's a great story for, and it's great for us to chat about it all, but I'm, I'm not sure compared with some of the other moments of the past two years, it's quite as big a threat to the stability of the government as, as other events that have happened. 